Oh my God. I, um, that was a really, 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 really weird feeling. Um, I just, um, uh, called LIC to make sure that they received my, um, my uh, results from my second blood test yesterday and um, the nurse was checking and she was just like yeah we received it and um, actually we just like five minutes ago updated your treatment plan and um, so I was like oh okay so um, I go to my portal and um, the message was you know great news your second beta test has um more than doubled and your numbers look really good and here is your treatment plan and um it wasn't anything special the treatment plan was to continue my estrogen and my two types of progesterone and like for the next two weeks i just continue what i'm doing and I schedule my appointment for my first ultrasound on December 12th. And reading all of those words was just like, that like made it real, more real. I think that's what I was looking for was that confirmation. Like I wasn't expecting to get that confirmation this way, but that's what I needed to just kind of like relax and and kind of like believe it um and i just broke down after like reading all of that i just broke down because this does not feel real it feels like a dream it feels like i'm in a dream and um oh I even, like, before I called and everything, I even made a th another appointment for tomorrow morning just in case they wanted to check my beta again um, tomorrow. And they don't, not concerned. I just needed the two beta tests. And so I'm going to cancel that appointment. I took my third pregnancy test this morning at home, and it looks a little stronger. And I'm not going to take any more pregnancy tests. And from here on out, I'm just going to plan, like, currently, my family. I don't know why, but as of right now, my family chat is going crazy. And I, it's taking everything in me to not just jump in and disrupt whatever they're talking about. I tried to call um, one of my best friends this morning. And I know she's like busy with her kids, but like, oh my God. <laughs> I did not sleep well at all last night. I didn't sleep well. Um, first of all, I couldn't go to sleep until, my lip looks a little red. <laughs> um, I couldn't go to sleep. I didn't go to sleep till like after one. I've. I, my sleep has been a little bit off the past few days. Um, and so I made myself lay down. I stopped scrolling. And then probably like maybe 30 minutes or so into it, if that, my stomach started growling. And so I don't even remember what I did. I got up to eat something. What did I eat? I have to figure something out. At work today, uh, or just earlier this afternoon, I said that I was gonna like start cooking. I'm gonna start cooking and meal prepping for the next couple weeks or so. Um, because like I just, need food right it's an emergency and i don't know why i said that i was going to do that today it's wednesday and it's my longest day 
And by the time I got finished doing everything that I needed to do, it was late and I'm tired and I was like, I'm not going to start anything today. I'm going to do it tomorrow, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to eat the rest of these nachos that I had from earlier. What a fucking mistake, let me tell you. And I don't know, I can't tell if it's me or if it's them because I usually get nachos from them and they're delicious. Today, they were trash and it makes me never want to go back there ever again. And I'm so sad about it. Um, I don't know if it's me or them. I think it's a combination of both. But anyways, I ate the rest of them because I paid so much for these nachos. And it's nachos. I love nachos. Big mistake for me to finish eating them. Um, like, I don't feel sick or anything, but my stomach is not agreeing with it. And I'm still hungry. And I don't want to eat anything sweet. I don't want to eat chips every night. And there's like, I don't want any more Thanksgiving food. I actually need to clean out my refrigerator, but I've been stalling because I don't want to smell any food. Opening the refrigerator frightens me now because I don't like the smell of food. So like, I don't like to open the refrigerator and I sure as hell don't want to clean, like clean it out and like throw stuff away, but I have to. I'm saying all this to say that it is 1040 at night and not only should I be asleep but I'm hungry and I'm seriously contemplating making spaghetti like just basic noodles and sauce because I'm hungry and I want something hot and I've been craving spaghetti I don't want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I don't want any apples apples are for breakfast like there's literally no other answer like I'm gonna have to boil noodles and make sauce at 10 40 at night and I'm tired though but if I just ignore it and go to sleep my ass is going to wake up and I'm gonna get up and and like need something to eat and chances are I'm just gonna grab that bag of chips I don't need to be staying up this late I don't need to be eating chips late at night every single night but I'm hungry at night I'm not hungry in the daytime. Like I have no appetite in the daytime. At night is when I'm hungry. And this is a problem. It's also a problem that I'm not really sleeping. God, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna make the noodles? I don't have any ramen, otherwise I would just make ramen. Help me. This is a stupid problem to have and I need to get my shit together immediately. Should I just eat an apple? I'm afraid that if I eat an apple, I'm not gonna be satisfied. What should I do? I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. It's Wednesday, Thursday. The fuck? What am I going to eat? I should. I don't want to make dishes. I'm going to do it. I have to boil new. I have to do it. I'm going to do it. Can you skip to recipe? That looks, it just looks like pain. How sweet. And also when I eat at night, that's when I feel sick. We're going to do it. Okay? So it's like, I'm hungry at night, and as soon as I eat something, I feel sick. How? I'm gonna cook tomorrow. I 
and get on a meal plan and a schedule. Eat breakfast, eat lunch, have snacks. A little at a time, even if I'm not hungry. That way I'm not having this problem at night. Those nachos will never, ever happen again. Ever.